go to the, to the word. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Amen. As you sit down, look at somebody and say, you don't know how this will come out. You'll never know how. It could unless you trust him. Thank you, Lord. You don't know how this will come out. You'll never know how it could unless you trust him. Last thing I would say, tell somebody, get out of the mix. Amen. Get out of the mix. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amplified version of the same text. Lean on, trust him. Trust in, rather. Lean on, trust in, and be confident in the Lord with all your heart and mind. And do not rely on your own insight or understanding. Wow, we can talk about this if I had some time. Sixth verse, in all your ways, know, recognize, and acknowledge him. And he will direct and make straight and plain your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Reverently fear and worship the Lord and turn entirely away from evil. Amen. Again, I would like to begin with the word understand. I was just, uh, the other day, I uh, eulogized a friend and brother in the Lord that the Lord called from labor to reward. And uh, I ministered about, have the, has the light come on yet? Has the light come on yet? And what I was looking at, the, 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 I don't know about you, but the Holy Ghost give me sometimes words to ponder on, to think on. And one of the words was understand, understand, understanding, amen. Understand means, listen, to grasp the meaning of. To grasp the reasonableness of. Everybody say reasonableness. That's something every one of us should be is reasonable. I said that's something every one of us should be is reasonable. Amen. If you are not reasonable, you cannot be reasoned with. Amen. Amen. It goes on to say, Understand to have thorough or technical acquaintance with or expertness in the practice of. To be thoroughly familiar with the character and propensities of. Amen. To interpret in one of a number of possible ways. To supply in thought as though expressed to have understanding have the power of comprehension come on you all the power of comprehension God wants us to have the power of comprehension amen praise God also it goes on to say to achieve a grasp of the nature, significance, or explanation of something. Are you all with me? To believe or infer something 
to be the case. To show a sympathetic or tolerant attitude towards something. In other words, when you understand, you demonstrate uh, a sympathetic or tolerant attitude towards something. Watch this. That doesn't mean you agree. It just means you understand. Come on, somebody. When you understand, you can be tolerant or sympathetic. Don't mean you disagree. I mean that you agree, brother. And so many people think that if I don't say something, it means that I'm weak. It means that I agree. No. Amen. That's why you have to have the understanding of when to speak and when to leave something alone. Amen. There's an appropriate time for everything. And when we learn and understand these truths, then we are not quick to speak. The Bible said, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Next, understanding. Understanding, again, there's that word beside it, archaic. Archaic means it's not spoken. Amen. Not used very much. Understanding. Amen. Understanding means knowing, intelligent, endowed with understanding, tolerant, sympathetic. Amen. A very familiar passage that we have heard many times, but yet we do not really understand what it says. Have you not yet come to the understanding that your life is more than you can figure out? Come on. Your life is more than you can figure out. Amen. You can take yourself into a nervous breakdown. Come on. Worry yourself into a nervous breakdown trying to figure out the complexities of your own life. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Bible said, be careful for nothing. Oh, I got to close. But in everything, by prayer, supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Your mind wasn't meant to be worried all the time. I said, your mind... Sister Sylvester wasn't meant to be worried all the time. Come on, y'all. Matter of fact, he said, be careful for nothing. Careful means anxietous. Come on, when you start doing this, you're thinking too much. You need to let it go. You need to start praising God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, y'all. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind has stayed on thee. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. You ought to have some songs that you can sing that'll help you get your mind off of things that you're worried about. Come on, y'all. Amen. And, 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 and when you are assaulted with these thoughts, come on. Amen. They can come sometime late at night. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Them thoughts. Amen. Where you lay in there, can't hardly sleep. Amen. And the truth is, you don't need to start grappling with them. You need to start praising and talking to God. Come on, hallelujah. While you're laying there, Lord, I know you know. Come on, Lord, I know you got the answer. Lord, I know you can work it out. Lord, I know you're going to fix it. Lord, I give it all to you. Lord, here are my hands uplifted. Lord, I know you're making the way right now. Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the same way you will begin, praise God, to praise your way up out of that. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I know it seems that you must have a plan. I, I did not say not to make or have a plan. Neither does the word of God. But in all your plans, know 
that if God is the one you are trusting in, your plans are subject to his sovereignty over your life. Amen. God understands the complexities of your life that you don't understand. Amen. He, ha he knows. Come on, y'all. He knows. That's why the scripture says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. But we have a tendency to do that as long as we can see the way. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. But that's really contrary to what the scripture says. Amen. You don't, the more you can't see the way, the more you trust in God. Come on. The enemy puts you in greater danger and greater jeopardy when you can't see the way and you keep resorting to your own understanding. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There was something in particular I wanted you to pay attention to in the definition of understanding or understand. And that definition said to trust. It says, listen, to accept as a fact or truth or regard as plausible without utter certainty. Did you hear that? Let me read it one more time. To accept as a fact or truth or regard as plausible without utter certainty. That's the big problem. We want utter certainty. Thank you, Lord. We want utter certainty. Like money in the bank. When you can pull out your phone and see so much money in the bank, you feel certain. Y'all looking at me. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. Amen. When you look, when you pull out your, I tell you what, when you pull out your cell phone and go to your mobile app, app to your bank and see zeros I know you don't feel certain you start saying oh lord oh lord come on y'all I know I'm telling the truth oh Jesus oh lord my god thank you lord that, that's the truth right amen but honestly even if there's money in your account, there's still uncertainty. Don't you know most of us live one sickness from being broke? One sickness could wipe you out financially. Don't you know it's the Lord preventing that from happening? It's the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let downtown get a notion to send you a bill. Come on. Amen. I mean, they'll tack cost on that you didn't even know could be tacked on. Do you know now they charge you for the water that runs from your place through the pipe? It's called sewage. Sewage. They charge that it that that haven't always been on your bill. They they put that on there. Now you're paying for the pipe that's in the ground that the water from your place run through. Y'all don't believe me. Pull, watch this. If you got a downspout coming down from your gutter on your house, pull it out of that hole that goes down in the ground and Direct it out on the grass. Amen. And then, wait a minute, after you do that, call them and tell them you did it. Because if you don't, they're going to still be charging you for the water going through that pipe. And watch how significantly your bill go down. Amen. Well, in other words, stop.
stop trusting in what you think makes you certain. Stop trusting because it, it really doesn't make you secure. Amen. It's only the Lord. Amen. The enemy has designed various things to try to knock you out of the box. But God wouldn't let him do it. Thank you, Lord. God wouldn't let him do it. And instead of you worrying yourself, I got to close. No, I'm going to wrap this up. Instead of you worrying yourself, amen, learn to stay in the presence of the Lord by giving him praise. Come on, y'all. By giving him praise, by lifting him up. Amen. And I, if I be lifted up, will draw all men unto me. Come on, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm telling you what I'm practicing. Amen. Because I'm faced many times with things, amen, that I don't particularly know what to do. And I want to tell you something, though. But God showed up every time. Amen. And I found out the thing I might as well do is give God praise. Watch this. Because if he don't show up, it ain't nothing I can do about it anyway. Come on, y'all. Amen. I don't know about you, but I don't like having sleepless nights. I love going right out. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. Come on, Deacon Hughes. I love going right out. I love going in the family room, sitting down and watching uh, uh, Lester Holt, NBC, back at 3.30. Hallelujah. But I want y'all to remember that. I want y'all to know that. Watch this. Remember this now. Hallelujah. To accept as a fact or truth or regard as plausible without utter certainty plausible it can happen it's possible come on I heard the word say with God with men it's impossible but with God all things are possible watch this not to everybody, but to them that believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wait a minute. I might as well talk to myself because y'all ready to go to sleep. But I heard, I heard James say it this way. Let not a man say when I'm tempted, I'm tempted of God. He said, for God cannot be tempted with evil. Neither tempteth he any man. But when a man is tempted, he's drawn away of his own lust and enticed. And when lust hath conceived, it bring forth sin. And when sin is finished, it bring forth death. But I want you to know something. I don't care what you're dealing with. The Lord has the power to break that thing in your life. Look at somebody and tell them, say, no matter what you're dealing with, tell them the Lord has the power to break that thing. And then I heard, I heard the scriptures pick it up. Thank you, Lord. My God. I heard him say, hallelujah. If any man last wisdom, let him ask of God, who giveth liberally unto all and abradeth not. But let him that ask, ask in faith, nothing wavering. Come on, somebody. Ask somebody, ask them, do you have faith? No, tell them, tell them, no, no, do you really have faith? You see, because now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah. In other words, my faith tell me that you can't see it, but that don't mean it ain't happening. My faith tells me I got to go other way. My faith tell me you can't figure it out, but that don't mean God ain't going to do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My faith tells me you can't see how this is going to be worked out, but that don't mean God ain't working it out. Come on and say, yeah. All he really needs you to do is to trust in the Lord with all your heart. Hallelujah. And lean not unto your own understanding. Now, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on one minute. Hold on one minute. Watch this. Thank, I gotta quit. I gotta quit. My God, the way the the way the Holy Ghost was talking to me about this, Elder Brown, was saying, "Listen here, trust in the Lord." 
with all thine heart and lean not to your own understanding. Watch this. He said, your understanding is not thorough enough for you to lean to your own because the more you lean on your own understanding, really the more afraid you get because you can't figure it out. You already know that you know that you can't figure out that you know you can't figure out how to get out of this thing. But God God did not tell you uh, to figure it out. He said, trust in the Lord uh, with all your heart. Uh, yeah! <laughs> And lean not uh, to your own understanding. Uh, come on and say yes. Uh, say it all thy ways. Uh, look at somebody. Tell them say all thy ways. Uh, no, wait a minute. Look back at them. Say quit playing. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thine path. Now watch this, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. While you're leaning to your own understanding, thank you, Lord. You can't hear God. Thank you, Lord. And so your own mind tell you, go this way. But the Holy Ghost said, no, 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 no. Go the other way. Come on and say that. And there you are battling with your understanding understanding and the voice of God come on and say yeah but I could hear the Holy Ghost saying trust in the Lord hey, with all thy heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall watch this Oh Lord, watch this, oh Lord, do I go to the left or do I go to the right? Hallelujah, which one do you want me to do? And while you're asking him, then go ahead and give him a praise because Lord, I know you're going to answer me. Come on, somebody say, Lord, I know you're going to answer me. Somebody say, Lord, I know you're going to make the way. Somebody say, Lord, oh, Lord, I know you're going to work it out. Say it. Say it. Lift your hands and say it. Hallelujah. If you would just, if you would just, thank you, Lord. Stop trying to figure it out. My God, that's where the worry comes in. The more you're trying to figure it out, the more hopeless it looks. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You looked at it one way, and you looked at it another way. You turned it on the side, and you couldn't work it out. You laid it on his back, and you still couldn't work it out. You flipped it on his front, and it was just as hopeless as it was on the back. Come on and say, yeah. About now you're definitely scared and don't know what to do. Come on and say, yeah. But that's when you ought to hear the Holy Ghost saying, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thy own. Watch this, watch this. Many of y'all, you think people that lost their mind because they give God praise because they go forth in the dance because they go forth like brother Ellis start running come on and say yeah waving their hands jumping and shouting come on and say yeah but before you judge you better try it for yourself and take off running come on and say yeah somebody say yeah one more time, say yeah. Lift your hands and give God praise. Say yeah. Say yeah. Yeah, yeah. My God, I dare you. I dare you. Instead of sitting there worrying, trying to figure it out. Just cut loose and give God a praise. 
instead of figuring out, instead of worrying yourself into a headache, begin to do what the scriptures say. If you don't have joy, leap for it. Come on and say, yeah. It said, if you don't have joy, then shout for it. Yeah! Yeah! Don't listen to the devil. Listen, don't y'all know? Don't listen to the devil. Touch two people. Tell them, don't listen to the devil. He's trying to talk to you. He's trying to talk to you. It ain't going to work out. It ain't going to be done. Anybody know what I'm talking about? You get scared. Come on, y'all. But that's the very moment, Mother Wilson, you ought to break out. You get to the place You might not can shut him up But you can make it where you can't hear him Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Trust in the Lord Trust in the Lord With all that huh? My God Wait a minute y'all I want y'all to know something There's still a whole lot of things Mother Beard and Mother Iron steal a whole lot of things, Mother Gray, that need to be done. Thank you, Lord. And every now and then, the devil trying to tell me, how you gonna do this? How you gonna get that done? Now you know how much it costs to do this. You know how much it costs to do that. Come on and say yeah. But I heard, I heard, thank you, Lord. The Bible said, Samuel, hallelujah, set a stone up between Shem and Mizpah, hallelujah, and called it Ebenezer. Said, for hitherto hath the Lord helped us. The only reason we made it this far is the Lord has helped us. Come on and say, yeah. I need three witnesses. I need three witnesses that know the only reason you made it as far as you already made it is because to this point, the Lord has helped you. Yeah! The devil have tried to block your way. The enemy have hit you with sickness. The enemy has messed with your finances. The enemy has messed with your children. The enemy have messed with your family members. The devil have messed with situations in your community. Um, but hitherto, up to this point, the Lord have helped me turn to somebody and say, up to this point, the Lord have helped me. And he didn't bring me this far. I said, he didn't bring me this far. No, 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 no. He didn't bring me this far to leave me now. Say it! Come on, open door. Come on. Oh, yes. 
So come on, I'm looking for God to do it. I'm looking for God to do it. Just tell two people right near, I'm looking for God to do it. Hallelujah. I'm looking to God to do it. Hallelujah. He know what I need. He know what I need. He know what I'm asking him for. Jesus said, your father know what you have need of before you ask him but he still wants you to ask him because your asking is a statement of your faith that I'm trusting in the Lord with all of my heart and I'm not leaning to my own understanding somebody point up and say Lord work it out say Lord work it out Look, one more time say Lord fix it God is in control. I tell you right now, God is doing something. God is up to something. Come on, God is up to something. God is doing something. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I've come this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word. He's never failed me yet. And it's too late to start trusting in anything else. I'm going to hold to God's unchanging hand. Yeah! 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 Yes, Lord. All right, all right, I gotta stop, I gotta stop. Hallelujah.